some digital research is getting a handle on this phenomenon. And if you thought finger wrinkling was related to osmosis, that water enters the finger... Swelling up a layer of skin, and that's what's causing the wrinkles. It's, it's totally false, unfortunately. It just seemed to have gotten stuck uh, into the cultural Wikipedia psyche in some sense. Allow me to introduce you to the finger wrinkle experts. I know Wilder Smith is my official name. Tom Smulders, and I'm a senior lecturer at Newcastle University. I'm a theoretical neurobiologist, and um, I'm sticking my fingers in water to get them wrinkly. They are among a handful of scientists ever to have investigated the finger wrinkling phenomenon which is actually regulated by your sympathetic nervous system. The same part of the nervous system that controls heart rate and blood pressure. In particular, with reference to the hands, sympathetic nervous system mainly has the function of controlling blood vessel size. And after you soak in water for a long time, the blood vessels in your hand change size. When you immerse the hands into 40 degrees water, which is quite hot, your vessels, despite the heat, they're actually constricted. Constricting the vessels means less volume inside of your fingertip. We think the less volume results in the negative pressure and therefore literally pulls the skin above it down. That's why Wilder Smith is interested in the pruny fingers as a possible diagnostic test for nerve function. But then the question is, why do we wrinkle? My new student, Roman Weber at the time, thought about it for a while, and he said, well, maybe they're rain treads. The idea is that water is evacuated by these tiny finger channels, allowing us to grip things better. That's the hypothesis. There are a few lines of evidence for this. One, you only get wrinkles on your feet and hands, where gripping is important. And another has to do with the pattern of the wrinkles. You could have infinitely many kinds of wrinkle patterns, all types. And of all the infinitely many kinds of wrinkle patterns that could occur, you in fact find the one predicted by the rain tread hypothesis. Changizi and his team compare the wrinkles on your finger to the river drainage on a mountain, which has a similar topography to your finger, they argue. And they find that the channels on the mountain and the channels on your finger are structured in just the same way. At the tip of your finger, you have the trunk, and as you go down, it splits, and they split again as you move away. Providing evidence for the wrinkles as drainage channels hypothesis. I thought that was just a really clever hypothesis, so we went off and tested it. And the latest contribution to this body of research, Smolders publishing in Biology Letters this week, finds that people with wrinkly fingers can move wet objects from one bin to another more quickly than people without wrinkly fingers. About 12% faster, which is not insignificant, I would say. Lending a hand to the rain tread hypothesis. But whether the wrinkles are the cause of the better handling? I'm not sure whether one can say that. So in other words, the definitive reason for wrinkles? Scientists have yet to put a finger on it. I, mean, I was joking, I was saying, oh god, I hope that I don't get remembered for this, because I have a lot of things I've done. And I can imagine my tombstone, here lies Changizi, and here's this tombstone that has been carved into the shape of a wrinkled thumb. <laughs>